Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Now, a few weeks before this whole corona lockdown situation, we travelled to Germany for the Studio Blockmasters comp. This competition has a unique format and it's super exciting in the qualifying. So here's all the action from the first day. Hopefully this is going to remind you how good indoor climbing is and give you a bit of psych for when this whole lockdown situation finishes and we can go climbing again. Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily and welcome to Studio Blockmasters 2020, the first big international competition of the season. This competition is massive. Over 800 people have pre-registered, and with that many athletes, you've got to have a plan. So today is Saturday, and it's the qualifying day, and everyone is trying to get into the semi-finals tomorrow. There's over 80 boulder problems here, and each section is split into 20. So the first 20 boulders are the easiest, all the way up to 60 to 80, which is the hardest. Now, the athletes have four hours to try to compete, and there's two sessions today, so it's going to be a little bit manic. Billy, welcome back to Studio Blockmasters. Lovely to see you here every year. What's your tactics approaching 2020 and this competition? Uh, so I tried to be a bit more tactical this year. The last two years I kind of just turned up, got on boulders, had a little look at what people are doing and fallen off a lot. So this year I like, made myself a little map, decided which ones were the harder ones and stuff. Tried to get a bit of a plan, but I'm still falling off stuff, so I'm not sure it's really done anything. How's the map working as a tactic? I've never seen a pro athlete with a map at a bouldering competition. Not very well. I've got the numbers, but I've forgotten what all the boulders are pretty much. So I've just got this nice little map to at least remind me if I can't find one where it is. But that's about as useful as it's been, to be honest. Well, mate, you've got two and a half hours-ish to go. Best of luck with the rest of the qualifying. Thanks very much, Matt. Now, different from last year is the charity boulder behind me. It's fairly easy and every competitor who tops it out, Petzl will give one euro and Climbing Holds will give one euro to charity. Now, considering there's 800 registered athletes, you double that, they're in the money. Now, of course, it's my responsibility to give this a go. So uh, I'm currently wearing trainers and Levi jeans and I am damn well gonna crush this boulder. It's all 
good. My soul has been saved. Charity will receive. Let's get on with the bouldering. Jenny Cruder, you've just come down from a boulder. Uh, you broke your ulna very recently, and I know this is something that everyone seems to be asking you about, but you're back, you're climbing again, and it seems like you're almost at the same level. Are, are you a machine? Uh, no, no, the, the level is not the same as uh, it used to be, that's for sure. Uh, but it's true, yeah, I'm, I'm back, uh, back in climbing, I enjoy it. Uh, it's fun, not, not as fun as it used to be, because <laughs> it still hurts a bit, uh, I would guess it's uh, it's the screw's fault, so. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I don't. I try not to bother with it. I, I just want to enjoy climbing, and that's it. This morning, 8:30, you were jumping down the hotel corridor. Uh, you seem excited <laughs> for the season coming up. Uh, is it feeling good at the moment? Uh, of course, I don't feel as good as I I, I used to like uh, previous seasons. But uh, nah, it's always good to have some positive energy and. Uh, just enjoy every moment, no matter if you're on the wall or just uh, in the hotel or whatever, wherever. Awesome, well, best of luck with the rest of the competition. Uh, I'm expecting you in the finals. I have to break this chain of uh, getting the, all of the finals here in Studio Block. But anyway, I'll do my best and you never know what happens. Best of luck, man. Thank you. Jesse, first of all, congratulations with the Olympic qualification. That that must feel amazing. Yeah, it does. It really does, yeah. Why do you come to Studio Block every year? Because this is one that you always turn up to. Is it important for you for preparation for the season? Uh, yeah, it is a really good training because you have so many um, bowlers in the qualification, and you, um, yeah, the bowlers are really high quality, so you have a good training session and uh, a good comparison with the other athletes. Well, I know time is ticking. I'll let you get on with it. Best of luck for the weekend. Thank you.
I've managed to find Alberto. This is an Olympic year. Uh, congratulations on qualifying. How important are the competitions going to be this year in the build-up to the Olympics for you and your training? Yeah, thanks. And I think this year, at least for me, it's really important to do a lot of comp with the with the guys I, I compete with in in the I will compete in the Olympics because it made me take a lot of experience for the for the Olympics and it, I think I really need it. So I think it's nice. Awesome, mate. Well, of all people in the Olympics, I'm so excited to watch you perform. I literally I cannot wait. So best of luck with that and best of luck with the rest of the season. Thank you so much. I love this competition. It's a real homecoming for the athletes, media people, everyone gathers and gets psyched for the season ahead. Now, of course, we'll be bringing you highlights from the finals and a few special shows. But for now, it's almost time to leave the qualifying session for the pros, and I'll see you guys soon.